You know, back pain is one of the most common medical problems that affects 8 out of 10 people at some point during their lives. So here to help us ease the pain is Illinois Back Pain Institute, Dr. Jeff Winternheimer. Dr. Jeff, thank you. Thank you. Why do so many people suffer from back pain? Well, you know, right now there's 31 million people suffering from back pain. Mm -hmm. and, and it's really the result of a sedentary lifestyle. We sit too much. Uh, you know, there's certain things that we do during the day that we're doing wrong. And a big thing right now with children is the overweighted backpack. You mm -hmm. know, it, a, a good rule of thumb for children is to uh, not have their backpack weigh more than 15% of their body weight. And, right. And unfortunately, it's, it's, it's way over that. And loading all those books and yeah. teachers. Take yeah. it easy on these kids. Yeah. Now, uh, you say there's, uh, there's five things that people do wrong every day. What are they? Yeah. Well, you know, what happens with the spine is we flex a lot and too much flexion over a long period of time starts to load the disc and when you load the disc you're more prone to degenerated discs and herniated discs and probably the biggest thing right now that uh, I could teach you those five things is really how to get out of the chair okay and you sit too much but you know th the goal is to avoid flexion so as you're getting out of the chair what you want to do is you want to scoot to the edge of your chair and you want to put your feet directly underneath you and you want to stand straight up just like this okay. as opposed to the you know I'm gonna get out of my chair now and flex forward like that right which is how most people do it absolutely absolutely okay. and another thing is people have a tendency to bend wrong mm -hmm. now the key to bending is not bending with your spine like this the key is to bend with your hips and I do what is called the hip hinge okay with the hip hinge what you want to get is like a wooden doll or in the case of everybody at home maybe just a broom like this and put it along your spine and you have to retrain yourself to bend with your hips so you have it touch the back of your head and then you have it touch your hips like this okay and then what you want to do is you want to do like a little squat and then you bend and you have to practice this bending because people don't get it right away just like you that. bend here yeah and you're bending at the hips right you want to make sure you're using your hips not your spine if Got you're it. using your spine you're loading the disc we don't want to do that okay again so it goes back to sitting we can go ahead and sit down now all right and so that's number two what's number three doc? number three is in our culture we're sitting all day long Right. Truly, we're in the car, we're at work, we're at home on the couch watching TV. So if you're sitting in your chair at work, you need to take what, what's called a micro break. We call it the Dr. Jeff stretch. What you want to do if you're sitting for 30 minutes, you slide forward again. The Dr. Jeff stretch. You oh, got it, okay. right? You've coined this. Yeah, there because people sit at their office computers all day all long. All day long. Right. All day long. And, and back pain is on the rise. I mean, truly, it's epidemic. I so, want to tell you, we have very comfortable chairs in our audience. I, I saw them. Okay. They're perfect. Go ahead. Perfect. Go ahead. Okay, so you want to slide to the edge just like this. Okay. Okay, so you're just sort of hanging on there. You want your, your, your knees about shoulder width apart just like this, mm -hmm. and you want to drop your hands to your side. Okay. okay. And as you drop your hands to your side, you want to rotate your palms out. All right. Okay. Like and what that Zen does, here. yeah, there you go. And what it does is it realigns the spine. Mm -hmm. Gets the spine in a better position. Do that every 30 minutes and do it for 30 seconds. 30 now, seconds. Yeah, and, and the longer you sit at work, every hour you need to get up and walk around. Just walk around a little bit. That puts hour. you back in alignment walking absolutely, around. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. All right, what's and our next tip? Breathing. Believe it or not, in, in our culture, a lot of people are breathing wrong. We have a tendency to hold our belly in because I guess it looks better, right? Okay, yeah, I thought you were going to say not to breathe. That would be, that'd be a problem. Yeah, well, that does become okay. a problem, seriously. Okay. <laughs> so as you're holding your belly in, it sort of alters the way you breathe. Now, what you need to do is as you breathe in, your stomach needs to come out. Okay, and as you breathe in, stomach comes out, and as mm -hmm. you breathe out, okay, stomach goes back in. What happens is people breathe with their rib cage, adds a lot of stress here, and creates an unstable environment in the low back, more prone to herniated discs. Yeah, it's always trying to impress people. You know, you're trying to suck That's in the exactly gut. That's exactly what yeah. it is, right? So then you get used to breathing right? that way. Right, and you want to look good, right? Yeah. You don't want to look dowdy. Yeah, I mean, right? th these, these pants are way too tight for me. I'm just trying to get in. That's a problem, right? <laughs> uh, what's right, our right, right. fifth tip, Doc? Right. The last one is uh, brushing your teeth. A lot of people. Uh, you know, when they're brushing their teeth, they have a tendency to lean over the sink like this and they're brushing the teeth. Right. Or if they're cooking, they're cooking like this. Again, you're flexing on the spine. You don't want to flex. So what I encourage people to do is put their foot up on about a six inch stool like this if you're, if you're sitting at the, or at the counter and you're cooking or if you're brushing your teeth, just have it in the bathroom right next to you there. And as you lean forward, you, you, you bend with your hips, okay? And then you brush your teeth like this. Yeah. That way you avoid the flexion on the low back. All right, Doc, five tips. Thank you so much, Dr. Jeff. Thank really you. appreciate you being here. Hey, coming up next, all the right moves to bring your family game night back to life at your house. We'll be right back, everybody. Oh,